Hello everyone and good morning. Thanks for joining our JIRA Administration Best Practices webinar. We're recording this session and we'll submit a link to the recording over the next few days. What's new with Atlassian? A lot actually. As the popular tech company celebrates 50,000 customers, they release big products and business announcements that mean big things to both existing and future users. Hear from Platinum Enterprise Experts Percipio Consulting and the company partner Christopher Pepe, aka the Dragon of the West, about the latest and greatest Atlassian news. As you have questions, please be sure to provide them via the questions utility and the GoToWebinar control panel. We'll queue them up and answer them towards the end of this session. Presenting on the webinar today from Precipio Consulting, we have our production resource consultant, Thomas Knight. My name is Shane Cormier. I'm a business development manager for Precipio Consulting and I'll be serving as your moderator. We have been Atlassian Expert Partners for over seven years now and are one of eight Platinum Enterprise Experts in the country. Over 99% of our projects are Atlassian related and we have hundreds of clients across the U.S. ranging in size from 20-person companies to Fortune 20 enterprises spanning many different industries. We help our clients with process-centric technology solutions to facilitate traditional business process management, IT service management based on idle and software development life cycles. In the SDLC space, we're helping clients transition from traditional waterfall to agile. Whatever widgets you produce, we help improve the quality and throughput at the lowest cost. We support our clients in all facets of the Atlassian product suite and build methodologies and solutions across the entire product line. These include things like solutions architecting and implementations, licensing, upgrades and maintenance, solutions, managed services, hosting, add-on development, and training. I will now turn things over to Thomas Knight to begin. Thomas, it's all you, sir. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here today. Uh, my name is Thomas Knight. As Shane said, I'm a consultant here with Precipio Consulting. Uh, I've worked with a range of different industries over the last uh, few years. I began working with the Atlassian stack back in 2007 uh, at a university. At one point in time, I, I did write the sustainability plan that I believe that university still uses. And starting from that point, I've continued working with the various products in the Atlassian suite. Uh, and as part of Precipio Consulting, I'm now involved in both process improvement and technical projects. So it's a nice thing in my day-to-day -day life to be able to see two of the major sides affecting anyone's use of uh, any of these programs. Uh, it's, it's a great way to get a full view whenever working with this. And I'm glad to be here today talking to you about our best practices. So today what we'll be covering is spread across a few different sections. Uh, we'll be going over project configuration, essentially how you would build out a project to get the best start on your structure. How to build screens smartly, so as we continue to build out your installation. The ways that you can ensure that what you're building will work in the best way possible for you. We'll talk about improving end user experience. It's the strategies that you will apply to configuration in order to make sure that your users will have the best and most efficient experience using what you've given them. We'll also go over maintenance best practices, so once you have everything completely built, we'll, go, we'll be talking about the ways to most effectively keep that operating at its best. So to start, we're going to go into project configuration. JIRA was designed to help teams track and tackle tasks with speed and with clarity. So setting up projects correctly will ensure that you have the, the best operation possible. Uh, within project configuration, schemes is, are going to be the, the top level component that will really want to focus on setting up. Versions will come next. Uh, versions will allow you to keep a track of how things are developing as they're moving along. Components will help you keep different sections of information straightened and placed into 
an organizational structure that will be helpful for you in the long run. We'll also go over roles, which is a way to e to improve your user structure so that different users can have the access and the privileges that they need. And to talk about that top level, which is schemes. Schemes are the backbone of your project configuration. Many projects have a lot of things in common, but many projects will have a lot of unique items that aren't really shared by other projects. Schemes are essentially a large bucket where we have all of our different configuration items. And what it allows us is to have various configurations use those shareable elements. Schemes allow for flexible, project-independent configurations and allow future projects to be spun up and, and built out quickly and consistently. So when you need to spin up a new project, it allows you to have consistent elements in that project without having to rebuild them from scratch every time. Versions allow you to track the development and the maturity of your projects over time. 